Hey everyone, we are back with some exciting updates. MCP is the talk of the town. We are super excited to bring support for MCP within Tempo. And so all the apps that you build with Tempo can now talk to external services within just a few clicks. For this specific demo, I want to focus only on Exa, which is an AI powered search engine and can, that can crawl the web using AI. And so we are going to build something cool within Tempo using Exa as the external service. So let's jump right into it. On the Tempo platform, I'm just going to create a blank project. You can click on create project and then uh, I'm just going to keep it blank. And so what Tempo is going to do is it's going to spin up the entire code base, including the environment needed to run your React app. One of the things that you're going to need for MCP integrations is ensure that you have a valid, healthy Superbase instance connected to your project in Tempo. And so you're going to click on connect Superbase. It's going to open a model to authorize API access. I'm just going to accept it. Give it a couple of seconds and it should list all the available projects under your account. There you go. I have a couple of them. I'm going to specifically connect XR demo for our purposes. There you go. And we are good to go. And then you can head over to the app store that has list of all the available connections. We are going to focus specifically on EXA. So let's search for it at the top. And then when you click on install, a modal is going to pop up and ask you for your API key. Now you can head over to your EXA account to the API keys. I have one created already by default. You can choose to create one by clicking on create new key. I'm just going to copy the existing one for me. Paste it here in tempo click connect and boom, that's it. Uh, XR has been installed and is ready for use. So let's head over to the AI chat and start building. So for starters, I'm gonna say create a component that takes a user query and answers it using XR answer API, show the results and the citations add the component to the home page and let's just throw and make it pretty uh, and that's it that's all you need to do and now ai will start implementing it one of the cool things that we do when you install an app with tempo is we automatically push all the environment variables and secrets directly to Superbase. So you don't have to worry about managing them either within Tempo or in the chat, which is a very secure way of doing it. So um, pretty cool thing to note. There you go. Uh, the AI has started implementing the edge function uh, to talk to EXA and get the results. Let's give it a couple of minutes. All right, there you go. So the AI was done implementing. So it implemented the edge function, deployed it, created the, the component and linked it to the homepage and also created a storyboard for us. Storyboards in Tempo are like views into your app so that you don't have to spin up your dev servers always. It's like a convenient way to um, design and develop a loss a side by side. Uh, so for example, here is the storyboard for XA. Uh, knowledge search. I'm just gonna blow this up. There you go. Uh, let's actually, you can also uh, spin up the dev server by clicking on this play button at the right top corner. And there you go. So we have the XR knowledge search. Before I ask it any question, we can also confirm that I'm gonna refresh. Okay, there you go. Uh, on the super base, you can see that a new edge function has been deployed two minutes ago, one deployment. So this was one shot. Now let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna also open my developer console just to show that it's not dummy data. So tell me all about Tempo Labs. There you go, let's hit search. There you go, it's hitting the EXA Superbase function and we have the result, all the answer about Tempo Labs along with the citations all in one shot, uh, which is pretty cool. What would be even cooler is to grab one of these citations and then scrape the data off of it. So let's actually build, build that next. So now add a tab 
display the contents of a URL um, using Xscrape. Let's do it. Uh, add it to the home page so that we can play around with it. And let's see how it does. Okay, seems like that was implemented. There were a couple of errors that we fixed with AI. And now let's try and spin up the app. So now you can see that there are two tabs, knowledge search and a content scraper. So let's get the knowledge again. Oh, looks like I did a typo over there, doesn't matter. We got the links back. I'm gonna copy one of them, head over to the content scraper. Just gonna open the network tab as well and then hit scrape. Oops, looks like there was an error. So let's copy the network log, the error from the network log and see if we can get it to fix. Okay, I'm just gonna copy all the error. Go back and say, just gonna select the storyboard. Let's say getting an error on the edge function. It's always important to uh, be as specific as possible. So if you can take a look at your network logs and try and copy the exact error. Um, unfortunately, Tempo Labs doesn't have access to the network logs just yet. And so uh, once we paste the error, uh, it should be able to resolve it. Okay, looks like it redeployed. Let's give it another try. Let's head over to the content scraper, paste the link. And boom, it worked. There you go. Uh, I'm just gonna clean my network log again for you guys to see. And I'm gonna hit scrape button again. And you can see that now it's hitting, still hitting the same Superbase edge function with a status code 200. So. Now, if we head over to our Superbase dashboard and click on functions, you can see that there are two edge functions, one for getting the detailed answer and one for scraping. You can see that we had an error and we tried to fix with AI and it was able to do it. So there are two deployments over here and that is pretty much it. Uh, you can ask your question to the knowledge base. It can, uh, it can use XR to give you the answers and then it can scrape content by just like switching tabs. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff. All right, that was a quick demo of how to use MCPs with Tempo. There are tons of integrations available. In this case, we explored Exa to build a quick, dirty app and it almost worked out of the box. So super exciting. This is just the tip of the iceberg and the possibilities are endless. So feel free to explore all the connections and we are super excited to see what you guys build with Tempo and an MCP. Happy exploring. It's always so satisfying to see that it's like one deployment two minutes ago yeah. and it works. <laughs>